Today is step 14 of 21 steps forward. We can see the finish line and we're almost there. All that's left for you to do is to keep on going, get after these final steps towards bettering your fitness. Sometimes doing new or making that change is hard, mostly because it makes us vulnerable, putting us in a position really where we might fail. The beautiful thing about being on the precipice is that it's also the perfect opportunity to grow. So instead of stepping back into sameness and complacency, choose today to step forward and plunge deep into whatever personal endeavors you have before you today. That includes this workout. Welcome to another step forward. Let's get to work. Each movement in our warm-up today has an asymmetrical component to it, so watch the video carefully so you don't miss any of the details. Our warm-up movements today include split squats, alternating table to grab with an arm reach, and plank walks with a push-up. Remember to have your Gym Next app downloaded with the Tabata function ready to go with 12 intervals. Within each interval, work for 20 seconds on the movement and then rest for 10. Move on to the next movement, repeating the same work rest format in order four times. Our first warm up movement is going to be our split squat. Stand about two to three feet out in front of your bench or your chair, whatever you have that's around knee height. Put one foot back onto that surface. This is your split squat. So you should be minding all the things that you would do naturally in one of your air squats. And that is hips going back and down. So same deal here. As I'm standing in front of the bench, my hips go back and down. My torso stays upright and my belly stays nice and tight. Do three reps on one side before moving to the other side and completing another three reps. Your second warm-up movement starts with your knees and your hands on the ground and table position. Elevate your knees ever so slightly off the ground and you're ready to go. Swivel first to your right, reach with your left. Swivel back to the left, now swivel to the left, reach with the right. Your third warm-up movement is your plank with your push-up. Start in plank position, and you're gonna walk opposite hand to foot. One, two, three, push-up. Go back. One, two, three, push-up. Our workout today has volume with three familiar movements completed in the repetition sequence of 21, 15, nine. The movements are alternating single leg stand-ups or your pistol, push-ups, and mountain climbers. When completing your single leg stand-ups, find a surface that is not too low. The lower it is, the more challenging it is. I've chosen my bench today. What you're gonna do is have one leg out in front of you and then stand up with a single leg, sit back down. Now today we're doing alternating single leg stand-ups, so you're gonna switch legs each and every time. Now, if you want more of a challenge, choose a lower surface, or you can get into what is called a pistol, which is a single leg squat. One leg goes out in front of you, and then hips go back and down, squat, stand it up, switch legs. We've already practiced our push-up in our warm-up, but in case you needed some scaling options, you can always go to your knees and plank from there, or you can go to an elevated surface like your chair, a bench, or a side of a sofa and do your push-ups from there. Our final movement in our workout is going to be your mountain climbers. Mountain climbers are held in plank position and then alternating knees to elbows, moving as quickly as possible. Remember in this workout today for your mountain climbers, all reps are completed per leg. So 21 per leg, 15 per leg, 
nine per leg and then you'll be done. Our workout challenge today is to choose one, two, or three of the movements to complete within the set unbroken. Good luck with your warm up. good luck with your workout, and have an amazing day.